But I want to tell you guys why I am cleaning the EGR valve. I got a whole new one, but I'm starting to think I'd like to save myself $100, so I might just take it apart and clean it and really hope that um, I do a good job at that and that it works so I don't have to put in the new one and that I can get my money back. Um, but to begin with, I didn't know that the rest of my cold air intake was missing from the mass, mass airflow sensor down, so there was no filter on there. And um, so I don't know how long that was on there for, but I know that I ran the car for like four days without it. And um, so all of the dirt was accumulating and getting all in there. So um, I did clog my um, EGR valve. So I bought a new one thinking, oh my gosh, I'm just going to fucking replace it. It doesn't matter. But I'm starting to maybe think once I have to see the conditions in, but once... Um, I see I might just clean it and um, see if that works and then if it doesn't well then fuck it I'm just gonna have to um, put another one in I am trying to get this done before the car meet today it'd be kind of cool to go with strawberry but if not then then it is what it is um, I might take Irwin maybe who knows so I did take out my battery and put it in my car not on the cement because I heard the cement like uh, I don't know draws the battery um, so let me just go ahead and step in here real quick uh. so I'm fortunate enough to be able to fit in here because um, if I wasn't able to fit in here it would be really hard Hey everyone, it's Smoking Skittles. I just want to let you guys know that there will be a link to my other video on how to take off the stock cold air intake and install an aftermarket one. So you are going to have to do that before you do this. And good luck. Okay guys, so you want to position it like this. Then you'll be able to take this out or put it back in. Alright you guys, this is the EGR mount. But I'm going to show you guys how to take it off. It is located right right here right there and it looks to be facing this way you're only gonna see like a little hose and the top of this we're gonna go ahead and replace it so I'm gonna start by taking off that hose and then taking off the bolt so right now I am working on taking these hoses off Okay guys, definitely get yourself some pliers that spring back apart once you try and um, push them together. Because if not, you are going to have the worst time of your life like I did trying to get these clamps off. Okay, wow guys, I was being dumb. I was trying to take this hose off. But you really don't have to because it's going to come off with it anyways. There is two 12 millimeter bolts. Alright you guys, so I'm taking these 12 millimeter bolts. Off. I really hope this encourages you guys because honestly I thought it was so fucking hard I thought it was gonna be crazy I even honestly didn't even know where it was to begin with um, so I really hope this encourages you guys and um, helps you guys in the process of getting this off That gasket is hanging on for dear life. It's kind of dirty. <laughs> Oops. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy to see you. Oh wow. It's so dirty in there. Alright, so I got one of the hoses off. Um, it's really dirty and so is this right here. So... Um, I'm gonna work on this one. I hate these clamps to be honest, but um, I'm just gonna remember how it goes kind of like that So when I put my hoses back on I'm gonna put them on first and then put them on so I don't have to struggle. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this Ooh. I just decided to replace mine. I didn't want to clean it. It was in a horrible condition and So I have put a little bit of that part cleaner on a q-tip and I'm cleaning the insides of this 
Okay, you guys, please do not get your hoses mixed up. This is how it goes. I was about to get it mixed up. This last piece will go um, connect to something from under there. I don't know what it is, but whatever. Um, yeah, don't do that. Or I don't know what gonna happen. It'd be bad, I think. So, yep. Okay, and be careful because you can take these hoses out. So if you did that mistake, um, thank God I was recording because honestly, these I was when I was taking them out, they all came off. So um, just to help you guys out, this white one that is um, kind of connected all weird, like a T back there. See it right there. This white one is gonna go on the further one further what nipple is it called? I don't know it's gonna be on that one and then the green wire that comes down from here and here is gonna be on this further nipple or whatever you want to call it right there so you're welcome if that happens to you it's more bumpy this is more in I think I'm just gonna put the bumpy part this way I didn't really see how it was put on or taken off so you might want to do that you might want to check to see how it's on and then now we're going to put the bolts through I'm putting it back on and then just turn it back around. I'm gonna need my two hands for this, but just turn it back around after that. Another tip when you're trying to put it back together, um, put all of them in and then start s screwing them all in kind of like equally. Otherwise, you're gonna get it to where sometimes you, if you put all like four of them on and don't put this one on, or all of the other ones and don't put this one on, you're gonna get it to where it threads all weird and you don't want that. Thanks everyone for watching. If this video helped, which I hope it did, go ahead and like and subscribe for more videos.